The term code switching, the phrase code switching, comes from linguistics, actually. It's about the fact that people speak differently in different areas. Well, it's become extended to be applied in more broad situations. So anytime you behave a little differently to fit whatever situation or norm you're in. So the example people often give is, you talk really differently to your parents or grandparents than you do to your friends. When I'm walking around campus with my friends, I can be very loud. I'm funny. When I'm with my friends, I'm loud and obnoxious. In different situations, too. If you go to a party, you're probably going to speak differently a little bit than you would if you were in a class. At school, I can't randomly leave. At school, you have to like try a lot harder because, like, because you're like afraid of being judged. People act differently. At school, I can't wear a shark skinny. My quiet classes are really quiet. My loud classes, I am loud. Be quiet when the teacher's talking, and you have to be friendly and patient with the teacher. When I'm at school, I'm expected to do my work and behave. I have to listen to the teacher, I guess. Uh, no talking out. I still eat in class. I tend to keep quiet and keep to myself unless there's people around to speak with. I don't know, so apparently I look more serious when I'm at school and I look mean. As human beings, we adapt so quickly, it's really hard not to code switch, I think. So it's about fitting in, it's about being uh, as effective as possible in your, the environment that you're in, right? So you, everybody wants to be effective. We want to be heard, we want to be able to communicate. So we do that almost automatically. I think it's unavoidable and I think, you know, so I don't know if it's, um, there's anything bad about it that I can think of. <laughs> Well, when I'm at work, I'm expected to be really nice to everyone. I work in the customer service job, so I have to, um, even if people are really rude to me, really angry, I have to just calm down and be really nice to everyone. I, like, I don't swear a bunch in general, but I obviously can't be there saying like bad words and whatnot, because I mean, that looks bad, makes my boss look bad. I have to smile and kind of always be positive all the time. I have to always act very polite and understanding to the customers. Probably the younger you are, the less aware you are of it. Um, as we get educated more and more, probably most high school students start really recognizing, oh yeah, I speak differently when I'm with all my friends in this group than I do when I'm with my teacher or with my grandparents. You know, our family just screws around a bunch. and I mean, I have to be respectful. I'm not going to go and call my mom a bunch of names because that turn out really badly. With my family, I tend to be as loud as the situation requires. I don't know, I have to act nice with my parents, I guess. Uh, that's what they expect of me. At home, I'm expected to do like dishes and chores and clean my room. Uh, respectful, um, no back talk, I guess. I act really quiet and I'm shy. At home, you can like relax and like be yourself. Well, I don't think we can, we can avoid code switching. People just do it automatically.